So when you're about to start a new drawing or a new project, one of the first things that you should do is to set up your units in AutoCAD. All right. And guess what? That is exactly what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this video today. So see you on the other side. First things first, guys, you need to answer this question. Which unit of measurement will you be using? 90% of the time, it's going to be either metric, which is in millimeters, or imperial, which is inches. Uh, if you really think about it, it's more like 100% of the time. When you draw a line measuring one unit in AutoCAD, it is up to you to decide what unit to apply to that one, whether it be one millimeter or one inch. Now, the thing is, one millimeter is much smaller than one inch. So what you don't want to do is to produce a drawing that is in millimeters when it should be in inches. AutoCAD have the ability to rescale your model proportionally. But why would you put yourself through that when you could just do it the right way from the get-go? Yeah, 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 that's what I mean, eh? So after you've selected your units, then it is now time to set up. There are a couple of ways that we could actually do this. The first one would be to set up your project using a template. Now, I have linked a video in the description which will show you how to set up your project from the start using Project Navigator. The other way you could use a template is by clicking on this drop down right here under the start button. So when you open up the software, you go ahead, click on this drop down and you would have the different templates right here. So if we were going to use Imperial, we would select Model Imperial or we could select Model metric it's going to be either of these four at the top here um, if you're not seeing this drop down what you would do is to go to the big a and just click on new and it will show you the very same templates right here so you'd go ahead and select the one that you need and once you select one of these it will automatically set your units for you and of course you can go ahead and tweak those settings to your liking all right other than using templates you'll have to just do it manually and that is what i'm going to show you in this video so you go ahead and click on the start drawing button and this will open up a brand new drawing for you so let's go ahead and type the command UN and that should bring up your units command and you would just click on it right here or press enter, UN enter. Otherwise you would uh, go to the big A and go down to drawing utilities and then you go up to drawing setup. Either way, it's gonna bring you to the same place. So when you get here, you will be under the units tab. That's where you want to be. So as you can see, we have some values here. All right. So this is where you'd go ahead and select your, um, your unit. So as I said before, it's going to either be inch or millimeter. Now, if you notice when I open up the software, it defaults to millimeters. And the reason for that is when I open the software let me minimize this i open the metric application so i have both applications here i have imperial and i have metric i did open the metric one so what autocad does is to set my units to metric so if you wanted to use imperial or inches you would open the imperial one and then you would go into the uh, units like I'm doing here now and just tweak it to your liking. All right, just to make it exactly what you want. So let me just go through some, some of these so you can understand what is happening here. So I'm gonna go with millimeters for now. And uh, under the length type, 
we normally use decimal so we're going to leave it at decimal and then if you go down to precision this is basically asking the question how precise are you going to be drawing all right are you going to be drawing a line that measures 1.2345 that would be four decimal places so you would have to select um, your precision to be four decimal places all right for architectural drawing we'd be normally just work with 2 dp and as you can see for all of these other ones we set them at 2 as well all right um for your area it would be for architectural again we would work with square meters especially in jamaica um for volume again we are going to stick with cubic meters all right if you click on the drop downs you'll see the the, the the various options there so like millimeters centimeters decimeters and the meters we're going to stick with that and it would be the same thing here okay and then for angles we are going to stick with decimal degrees if you click on the drop down you will see some other options like uh degrees minutes seconds this is what surveyors would use when they are uh, doing their survey and producing their drawings. Uh, we're not gonna use any of these other ones. We're gonna just stick with decimal degrees. And again, your precision, how precise of an angle are you going to be drawing? Uh, most times it's gonna be like 22.50 or 45.75. We won't be going up into these ones here. All right, we're gonna stick with just two. And that would be it for your units everything looks good you would hit apply and then you would hit okay so what you can do here is to just take a snapshot of this and save it so that you can apply it to your drawing if you're using millimeters for those of you who are using inches you would go ahead and change this to inch and if you notice it all adjust for you uh, again we can go and change a couple of values so let's click on this we have architectural, which is what, if you're doing architectural drawing, you would use. And the precision here comes down as fractions. All right. So are you going to be doing anything down to the 64th of an inch? If you're not going to draw anything to that precision, then you don't need to go that far. Most of the time, I would just stick with one eight because I'm not going to draw anything more precise than that. All right, so we're going to stick with 1 over 8, or 1 8. And our area, we're going to stick with square foot, or square feet. And we're going to leave that at 2 dp. Same thing here, cubic feet, 2 dp. And our angles would remain the same. Okay, now for those of you who are doing engineering drawing within the inches unit, of course you'd go ahead and select engineering and that would change your precision from fractions to decimals because these guys have to do drawing up to the thousandth or ten thousandth of an inch all right but we're going to stick with architectural and then you would go ahead and hit apply now, once you do that this box would pop up if you had changed units so initially we had millimeters and I changed it to inches. That is why we're getting this option. And this is saying to you that your drawing or your model space will be rescaled. And this is why I said to you earlier, you want to do this at the beginning because if I had already done drawing out here, then my entire drawing is gonna rescale. And I don't know if something is gonna get messed up. Can you imagine you have a huge drawing, a huge building and everything gets rescaled of course autocad can do it properly but i'm not going to take that risk and i'm saying to you guys you don't want to take that risk either so of course you would go ahead and rescale and then you would hit okay and now we can go ahead and draw all right so let's go ahead and draw a line that measures uh one so i'm going to enter one uh, it's so tiny, but I'm going to zoom in. So here is our line. So what happened is when you click on the line now, our values are showing up in the inches 
our feet and inches unit over here. Okay, now if it were in millimeters or decimal, you would see on the decimal values over here. So you want to make sure that you get this correct. All right, guys, so that's it for this video. And I hope that you learned something. Just remember, do this at the beginning of your project. It's good practice and it only takes literally one to two minutes or even less. But yeah, thank you for watching and I hope that you learned something. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and we can uh, have a talk. Say, yeah, man.